Well, as kids and parents settle into this new school year, the Boston Public Health Commission is hosting a free Be Healthy Back to School event, and that's today at the Franklin Park. And joining us now live is Dr. Bisola Ojikutu, Boston's health commissioner, the public health commissioner. Foss, first off, tell us about this event on a beautiful day. Yes, thank you so much for having me. So the City of Boston and Boston Public Health Commission will be hosting a Be Healthy Back to School vaccination event today, starting at 11 a.m., lasting until 3 p.m. at White Stadium in Franklin Park. So our, the primary purpose of the event is really to promote vaccination amongst kids, particularly those who are school aged. Here in Boston, amongst children aged 5 to 11, less than 50 percent have been fully vaccinated, and we've really seen stark racial and ethnic disparities. So what we're trying to do is ensure that everyone knows that the vaccines are effective, they're safe, and they're free, and we're hoping that parents and caregivers will choose to get their kids vaccinated. Okay, great event getting them out there. I see you get a free backpack, a $75 gift card, but what is the current vaccination rate for students at Boston Public Schools? Is there still a hesitation among some parents to give their kids that shot or booster? So certainly there, there are parents and caregivers who are hesitant, and I, under, I understand that. I mean, I'm a parent of a young child, and I, and I understand that people still have questions. So the great thing about this event is that we have trusted messengers. We have doctors, infectious disease specialists like myself, public health nurses who are bilingual, who will be available to answer any questions that parents and caregivers have. Meeting them in the community always helps the storytelling there. And the World Health Organization says the pandemic played a role in the largest global vaccine backsliding seen in three decades. That's, of course, fueling outbreaks of preventable diseases like the measles and polio, polio in other countries. Are you seeing hesitancy over COVID shots spilling over into other vaccines? Well, certainly we are, and that's what the data suggests. So. Events like these are meant not just to provide information about COVID-19 vaccination, but they're really to promote vaccination for all of these preventable diseases overall. So what's the overall hesitancy? Would it be fear that there's a terrible side effect or just believing this COVID vaccine was made too quickly and it can't be right? What are parents concerned about? Well, I, I think that it's everything. It's all of that. I mean, I think that, you know, all many populations have felt that the vaccine was made very quickly um, and that, um, we don't know about long-term side effects. I think the messaging that we like to promote amongst parents and caregivers is that, you know, younger children are typically spared the worst effects of COVID-19, um, but severe cases, hospitalizations, and deaths do occur. And since the pa pandemic actually began, millions of kids ages 5 to 11 have been diagnosed with COVID-19. Thousands have been hospitalized, and tragically, some have died. So we know that getting vaccinated is the is what we need to do to protect our kids. And we also know that, you know, with vaccines, we can actually prevent some transmissions and stop the disruption and absences from school. So we try to answer all the questions that people have, but we also try to make sure that people know that there is an enormous benefit to vaccination. And is there a greater hesitancy, would you say, in people of color still to this day? I think so. I mean, I've done a lot of research and work in this area and I, it, there's mistrust and the mistrust is understandable. It's related to many things that have happened in our in our country's history and meeting people where they are in their own communities with trusted messengers who look like them and who speak their languages is, is really an important strategy to use, which is why we're holding the event today. And it's nice to have you in that position. Dr. Bisola Oji Kutu, thank you. You're the mm -hmm. Boston Public Health Commissioner and have a great day out at Franklin Park White Stadium. I hope a lot of thank people show you. up.